Hey guys, it's Rob, AKA Bluegrass Profits. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. Uh, what we are doing is we are going to the vet. We are taking our Bernese Mountain Dog. Uh, her name is Opal. She is due for her one year checkup. And then we are gonna go to the pet store where we're gonna get her a treat, but we're also gonna go source for pet products. I have been to the store in the past. Um, I have picked up quite a few clearance items. Typically, um, Night Eyes and Coastal Pet Products haven't had an issue with any of those. I have had an issue from Kurgo brand. If you guys have ever sourced any of that brand, typically they do issue IP complaints, but they are pretty easy to retract. So just be uh, mindful of that if you're looking into the pet category. Um, one thing to note, this store typically does not have the best cell phone reception. So what I've typically done in the past was I've just taken pictures of the UPC labels, gone home, mainly sourced those into my computer, and then I'll go back to the store usually the next day or two and get those same products. Um, I like to think of this store as kind of a hidden gem because not that many people are selling in the pet category. Hopefully we can find some profitable items today. That way you guys can see that you can find profit wherever you go. Uh, no matter the store, just as long as you can get it for the right price, you can probably sell it on Amazon. If I can find some profitable items today, I might just have to go to the other two pet stores that are nearby and just look for the same things on clearance. But first, we gotta go to the vet, get Miss Opal taken care of, and then we're gonna go to the pet store to see what we can find. So come along with me as we make this journey happen. So here we are walking into the vet and we're gonna go ahead and step on the scale. She's gonna be a whopping 80 pounds, so she's not actually that big for her breed. Um, she's more on the smaller side, but she's the perfect size for us. Today during the vet, we're gonna end up getting our blood drawn and then we're also gonna get about four different vaccines updated. So that blood draw is why you see the bandage on the uh, arm here. And then as we go into the pet store, I have to carry her just because she gets so scared of loud noises and she heard a car and she did not want to keep walking. Always let the dog lead you in the right direction because here she's going to get a whiff for some clearance items. So here she sniffed out some dog leashes as well as some dog collars. These are Coastal Pet products and they were 75% off. So. I ended up taking pictures of the UPCs like I predicted just because the cell service wasn't very good. And then we're just gonna continue walking around the store looking for other things on clearance to see if we can sell them. Next up here, Opal brings us to these dog collars and leashes. A lot of these were Coastal Pet products, but really didn't have a very good rank and not many reviews. So I decided I was gonna pass on those when I come back. Here we bring Opal to see the parakeets, but she's not very interested in any of these birds. She's still kind of like in shell shock. Uh, she doesn't know what to think. This is really is her first time in a pet store. Um, say hi to this tortoise here. I guess it's a tortoise. And then lastly, we picked up this little pumpkin cookie for her as her treat. And then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and gather all of the goods. So my manual sourcing led me to these dog harnesses as well as these dog leashes. These all were making pretty good money. Uh, they all had very good rank in the pet category. And the fact that I was getting, getting them for 75% off means my ROI should be pretty darn high. So I'm excited to see what all this equates to. So stay tuned as I go through the checkout. So probably one of the most underrated things that can happen as an Amazon seller is the fact that the cashier does not ask why you are buying so much of their clearance stuff or multiples of one item. But anywho, I just walked out of there and I spent $184.64 on basically two different products. Those products in particular, we have this Front Connect Harness. This is from Coastal Pet Products. I have sold Coastal Pet Products in the past. They have all done well. They actually sold really quickly. One thing to note, um, you can't see this here on the video. Maybe you can, let's see. But this thing is dusty. Um, so clearly the people in my area did not have a need for these. Therefore they marked them all the way down to 75% off. And that's why I just came in and scooped them up. They did have other stuff in the store that was 50% off. I didn't even honestly look at those because I'm here for the 75. Um, the other thing to note, we had these dog leashes. Um, I actually just picked up 19 dog leashes from a coworker because she's been buying um, return pallets from Amazon and I guess Walmart and stuff. She had 19 in there. I actually bought them from her for $5 a piece and I sold one within like an hour and she was pretty impressed by that because she does not sell on Amazon. 
she does occasionally watch the videos so shout out to you mary um but yeah so i got these dog collars as well these are currently selling for about 45 dollars on amazon but 75 percent off i believe i picked these guys up for i think it was about ten dollars each um and i was the profits were i think 33 dollars before the cost of goods so i was making like 23 dollars each on every single one of these leashes and i got a few in the red a couple in the black i got larges mediums extra smalls that's how why i got you know like i said two different items but they were all pretty much the same thing uh, i'm gonna go home get all these updated into inventory lab and let you know of the quick profits i am expecting I don't know, 150, 200% return of this $184. So let's go find out. Stay tuned for that. All right, so everything is uploaded into Inventory Labs. I'm looking at a total net profit of $409 with a total buy cost of $184. If you go ahead and put that into the calculator, you're looking at 409 divided by 184. That's an ROI of 222%, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, slightly better than I was expecting, so I'll take that all day long. And then just to show you guys the items here in the my list here, you know, the dog leashes that I bought, as well as the harnesses, there's nothing else added to the mix. You do notice that there are these two locations. Hang out for a second, I'll show you how to get those down to one. And, but yes, 21 total items. It's a total sales value, $806. First and foremost, thank you all for watching this video today. It was something new and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not already there. And if you wanna get those shipments that go from two warehouses down to one, click this video right here and I will teach you how to do it.